Greetings, brethren and seekers of the truth. Today we'll be the subject is what is the covenant of Yah? We've heard of the Noah, the covenant with Noah, where he the Almighty promised not to destroy mankind by flood. And the sign of that covenant was the rainbow. That's what the rainbow is, the sign of the covenant with Noah. Genesis 9. The Abraham, the covenant with Abraham, Abrahamic covenant, where the Almighty promised Abraham and his seed the promised land, and the sign of that covenant was circumcision, Genesis 15 and 17. The Mosaic covenant, which was obeying the law, the sign of, of that was the book of the law, from Genesis, the five books of Moses, but there was another book. Turn to Joshua 24, 26. Joshua 24, 26. Because Joshua, although Moses led them to the promised land, Joshua delivered to them the promised land and vanquished their the enemies that stood against them. Joshua 24, 26, the first part. Then Joshua wrote these words in the book of the law of Elohim. So he wrote all the words from the book of Joshua except at his death someone else added the, that part uh, and it became, it was to be a part of the, the the book of the law the instructions to mankind the Torah which means instruction not just law but instruction then there was the Davidic covenant where Elohim promised David a, a family house Eternal, where they his descendants would be seated on the throne, Second Samuel seven. So, what is the covenant of Yah? Let's turn to Exodus twenty verse one. Exodus twenty verse one. And Elohim spoke all these words, saying, all these words, these devarim, which uh, is words in uh, Hebrew and then he lists the Ten Commandments which most of us all of us know what they are let's go to turn to Deuteronomy chapter 5 also called the second law of Deuteronomy but it's really a reiteration of what the uh, Hebrews went through in their 40-year journey Deuteronomy 5, 22 and 24. So, 20 verse 1 of Exodus was uh, before the Ten Commandments were spoken. And this is now after they've been spoken. Verse 22. These words, Yah spoke to all your assembly in the mountain from the midst of the fire, the cloud, and the thick darkness with a loud voice. And he added no more. And he wrote them on two tablets of stone and gave them to me. So he spoke the Ten Commandments with his loud voice in the hearing of all the people, and he added no more than the Ten Commandments, and he wrote them on two tablets of stone. And 24, and you said, Surely Yah our Elohim has shown us his glory and his greatness, and we have heard his voice from the midst of the fire. We have seen this day that Elohim speaks with man, yet he, mankind, still lives. Deuteronomy 4, 10-15. The day you stood before Yah your Elohim in Horeb, when Yah said to me, Gather the people to me, and I will let them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days they live on the earth, and they may teach their children. Hear my words. Then you came near and stood at the foot of the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire to the midst of heaven, with darkness, cloud, and thick darkness. And Yah spoke to you out of the midst of the fire. You heard the sound of the words, but saw no form only heard a voice. So he declared to you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform, the Ten Commandments, and he wrote them on two tablets of stone. And Yah commanded me at that time to teach you statutes and judgments that you might observe them in the land when you cross over to possess. Take careful heed to yourselves, for you saw no form when Yah spoke to you 
at Horeb out of the midst of the fire. So Yah spoke his covenant, the Ten Commandments. What is the covenant of Yah? The Ten Commandments. But there's more. Deuteronomy 9, 9 to 11. Deuteronomy 9, 9 to 11. When I went up into the mountain to receive the tablets of stone, the tablets of the covenant, which Yah made with you, then I stayed on the mountain 40 days and 40 nights. I neither ate bread nor drank water. Then Yah delivered to me two tablets of stone written with the finger of Elohim, and on them all the words which Elohim had spoken to you on the mountain from the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And it came to pass at the end of 40 days and 40 nights, Yah gave me the two tablets of stone, the tablets of the covenant. And then right after this is the Golden Calf Rebellion. And then we come to Deuteronomy chapter 10, 1 to 5 and 8. At that time, Yah said to me, Hew for yourself two tablets of stone, because Moses had, had broken the first tablets. Hew for yourself two tablets of stone like the first, and come up to me on the mountain and make yourself an ark of wood. And I will write on the tablets the words that were on the first tablet which you broke, and you shall put them in the ark. So I made an ark of acacia wood, hewed two tablets of stone like the first, and went up the mountain having the two tablets in my hand. And he, that is Yah, wrote on the tablets, according to the first writing, the ten words, the ten commandments, which Yah had spoken to you in the mountain from the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly, and Yah gave them to me. Then I turned and came down from the mountain and put the tablets in the ark which I had made, and there they are, just as Yah commanded me. Verse 8, At that time Yah separated the tribe of Levi to bear the ark of the covenant of Yah, to stand before Yah, to minister to him, and to bless his name to this day. Exodus 31. Exodus 31.18 And when he had made an end of speaking with him on Mount Sinai, Yah speaking to Moses, he gave Moses two tablets of the testimony, tablets of stone written with the finger of Elohim. Two tablets of the testimony. What's the testimony? The Ten Commandments. Testimony meaning spoken. He spoke the Ten Commandments and wrote them on tablets of stone in, indicating permanence. Tablets of stone. Written with the finger of Elohim on stone. Exodus 32, 15 and 16. And Moses turned and went down from the mountain, and the two tablets of the testimony were in his hand. The tablets were written on both sides, on the one and on the other they were written. Now the tablets were the work of Elohim, and the writing was the writing of Elohim engraved on the tablets. Exodus 34, 27 to 28. Then Yah said to Moses, Write these words, for according to the tenor of these words, Devarim, the reason I went into the words is because both the ten the commandments are called the ten words, and they're talking about these words, both using the word Devarim in Hebrew uh, to refer to the ten commandments. Write these words, for according to the tenor of these words, I have made a covenant with you and with Israel. So he was there with Yah forty days and forty nights. He neither ate bread nor drank water, and he wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant, the ten words, the ten commandments. Deuteronomy 29, verse 1. Deuteronomy 29, verse 1. These are the words of the covenant which Yah commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel in the land of Moab, besides the covenant which he made with them in Horeb. So there was the, the covenant of Yah, the Ten Commandments made in Horeb, and there was the Mosaic covenant, which was in addition. Deuteronomy 31, 24 to 26. Deuteronomy 31, 24 to 26. So it was when Moses had commanded, uh, sorry, had completed writing the words of this law in a book when they were finished, that Moses commanded the Levites who bore the Ark of the Covenant of Yah, saying, 
take this book of the law and put it beside or put it in the side of the Ark of the Covenant of Yah, your Elohim, that it may be there as a witness against you. So we can see here that the book of the law was separate from the Ten Commandments, which were inside the Ark. 1 Kings 8.21 First Kings eight twenty one. And there I this is uh, Solomon talking. Solomon's speech at the completion of the work of building the temple. And there I have made a place for the ark in which is the covenant of Yah which he made with our fathers when he brought them out of the land of Egypt. So in the ark was the covenant of Yah, the Ten Commandments. Same thing, similar in 2 Chronicles 6.11. 2 Chronicles 6.11. Solomon again speaking, And there I have put the ark in which is the covenant of Yah, which he made with the children of Israel. Hosea 8, verse 1. Hosea is right after Daniel, which is after Ezekiel. Hosea 8, verse 1. Set the shofar to your mouth. He shall come like an eagle against the house of Yah, because they have transgressed my covenant and rebelled against my law. Notice they're both transgressing my covenant, Yah says, and rebelled against my law. Jeremiah 31, 31 to 33. Jeremiah 31, 31 to 33. Behold, the days are coming, says Yah, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, my covenant which they broke, though I was a husband to them, says Yah. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says Yah. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts, and I will be Ayah, their Elohim, and they shall be my people." So this is, uh, he says, I was a husband to them. So he divorced Israel because they broke his covenant, because they would not keep it. And that's how the Gentiles came in. Once he divorced Israel, then it opened up to the Gentiles. Psalm 111, verse 9. Psalm 111, verse 9. He has sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. Written His covenant, the Ten Commandments, commanded forever, written on in stone with the finger of Elohim. Can't get much more important than that. Spoken, written, on stone with the finger of Elohim. Psalm 119.88 Psalm 119.88 Revive me according to your loving kindness, your kessed, your mercy, your grace, so that I may keep, guard, the testimony of your mouth. What's the testimony of his mouth? The Ten Commandments. Guard it, keep it, walk in it. Revelation 11, 19, the beginning. Revelation 11, 19. Then the temple of Elohim was opened in heaven, and the ark of his covenant, or the majority text says the covenant of Yah, was seen in his temple. So here we are at the end, and we still have the ark of his covenant, the covenant of Yah, the Ten Commandments, seen in his temple. Revelation 15, verse 5.
After these things I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. The testimony, the testimony of his mouth. You can, you can argue this, but it could, could refer to the Ten Commandments. And out of the temple came the seven angels, having the seven plagues, clothed in pure bright linen, and having their chests girded with golden bands. Then one of the four living creatures gave to the seven angels seven golden bowls full of the wrath of Elohim, who lives forever and ever. The temple was filled with smoke from the glory of Elohim and from his power, and no one was able to enter the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were completed. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple saying to the seven angels, Go and pour out the bowls of the wrath of Elohim on the earth. So once the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven is open, then we've got the seven last plagues coming on the earth. What about the new covenant? The new covenant, the sign of the new covenant is the blood of Yahshua. Faith in the blood of Yahshua cleanses us from our sins. And by grace, through faith, we are saved. And what is that covenant? It's the expanded Ten Commandments plus elements of the Law of Moses. For example, Matthew chapter 5. Matthew 5, verses 21 to 22. You have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not murder, and whoever murders will be in danger of the judgment. That's the Ten Commandments. But I say to you that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Raka, uh, which means empty head, brainless, or... There, there's many, many ways to say that. Shall be in danger of the council, and whoever says, you fool, more, shall be in danger of hellfire, Gehenna. Gehenna was the, uh, was where they burned the trash outside Jerusalem, which is a figure of the uh, lake of fire. It's also where they uh, put their children in the hands of Moloch made their children pass through the fire which is a, a figure of America's abortion factory that we have now verses 27 and 28 you have heard that it was said to those of old you shall not commit adultery ten commandments but I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart Expanded Ten Commandments. Hebrews chapter 6. Hebrews chapter 6. Verse 20. Hebrews 6, 20. Uh, let's back up to 19. This hope we have as an anchor of the soul both sure and steadfast, and which enters the presence behind the veil, where the forerunner has entered for us, Yahshua, having become high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. 7, 11, and 12. Therefore, if perfection were through the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law, what further need was there that another priest should arise according to the order of Melchizedek, and not be called according to the order of Aaron? For the priesthood being changed of necessity, there is also a change of the law. Some of the law was done away with. Some of the, uh, the sacrifices, for example. So we have the covenant of Yah. What is the covenant of Yah? The Ten Commandments. What is the sign of the covenant? Ex, uh, Ezekiel 20. Ezekiel 20. The sign of Yah's covenant. Verses 12 and 20. Moreover, I also gave them my Sabbath to be a sign between them and me, that they might know that I am Yah who sanctifies them, sets them apart. Verse 20. Hallow, make holy, set apart my Sabbath, 
and they will be a sign between me and you that you may know that I am Yah your Elohim. Exodus 31. Exodus 31. Verses 12 to 17. Exodus 31. And Yah spoke to Moses, saying, Speak also to the children of Israel, saying, Surely my Sabbaths you shall keep guard, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations that you may know that I am Yah who sanctifies you, sets you apart, makes you holy. You shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy to you, set apart to you. Everyone who profanes it shall surely be put to death. We're no longer under the death penalty. Thank you. Heavenly Father, for whoever does work on it, that person shall be cut off from among his people. Work shall be done for six days, but the seventh is the Sabbath of rest, set apart to Yah, holy to Yah. Whoever does work on the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. Therefore, the children of Israel shall keep, guard the Sabbath, to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations as a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For six days Yah made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. So that's the sign of the covenant of Yah, the Ten Commandments. Spoken by, written by, on a stone indicating permanence, engraved with the finger of Elohim, the written and oral testimony of the covenant of Yah, the Ten Commandments. Thank you.